Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany, and well, there was supposed to be the science fair tomorrow, but it's been postponed to next Thursday, so I'm going to show you my oral presentation, but I don't have my backboard with me, but that's okay, I'll just skip the parts where I have to use it. Alright, I hope you enjoy it. What I want to know about my experiment is, was wrinkle-free the way to be? And that was the title of my ex backboard. And my question was, what is the best way to remove wrinkles from fabrics? My hypothesis is, if you wash a t-shirt with Tide laundry detergent, then hang it, then there will be less wrinkles than washing a t-shirt with Tide laundry detergent and then putting it in the dryer with a dryer sheet. So my materials were my pencil, my science fair notebook, a washer, two t-shirts that are the same but can differ in color, um, tie laundry detergent, a dryer, a dryer sheet, and a hanger. That's about it. <clears throat> I had three trials. And the, I had two shirts, one was blue and one was green. The green one represented the, the one that would be hung after the wash and the one that would be dry after the wash would be the blue shirt. And I had three trials and within those trials, I would take the two shirts, put them in, put them in the washing machine for one cycle of cold water and one capful with, of Tide laundry detergent. Then after the cycle, I would take out the green shirt and hang it. And I would take out the blue shirt, put it in the dryer, and <clears throat> I would take a dryer sheet and put it in the dryer for approximately 25 minutes to half an hour. Uh, and after each one's have fully dried, I determined which one had more wrinkles and I used it and the way I determined it was I used a rating system. My rating system was a 1 was the best and a 4 was the worst. 1 was didn't almost had no wrinkles, number 2 was just a little bit of wrinkles, a 3 was a lot of wrinkles, number 4 was filled with wrinkles. Um, the next part is supposed to be me explaining my graphs and pictures, but since I don't have them, I'm going to skip that part. My independent variable is whether it's being hung after the wash or put in the dryer after the wash. And my concept behind my experiment is water and wrinkles. The way wrinkles form are, is, are when you have the, like, if you iron a shirt, the bonds are put together the right way, but then if you put them in the wash, they, and with the movement of the washing machine, they break, and the fibers move in, around with the washing machine, and when they start to dry up, they recreate. So it's in a different form. My experiment did not prove my hypothesis because my hypothesis was if you wash a t-shirt with Tide laundry detergent and then hang it, then there will be less wrinkles than washing a t-shirt with Tide laundry detergent and then drying it with a dryer sheet. Some variables that could have ex oh my god, some variables that could have affected my experiment are how much detergent I would put in the washing machine, the brand of the uh, the dryer sheet and the temperature of the water in the the washing machine. What I would do differently if I was if I had a chance to run this experiment again is that I would add ironing to it. And now it's some fun facts. Some fun facts about one fun fact about my experiment the research behind my experiment was that 
the very first type of the very first type of uh, washing or some way to take dirt out of clothes or fabrics was to use a boulder about this size and then you would put the fabric on top and you would either rub it with sand or another rock but you would have to get the shirt I mean the fabric wet and the next way was by the scrub board the scrub board was sort of a step up because you wouldn't have to use sand or a rock you would just have to use your hands but still it's very like it kills your back and it takes a lot of time another fun fact is that actually the next type of washing machine was uh, the, called the rotary wash. The rotary wash was the uh, the first electric powered washing machine that was made to be at home. And how it was invented, it was invented by a name a man named William Blacksmith. And well, it was his wife's birthday coming up soon. And his wife was a housewife. She cleaned. She cooked. She washed, and like I said before, scrub, a scrub board, it might have been expensive because this was in 1874, so um, she still might have had to use the rock, and both of those still take a long time, and they kill your back, and you would have to be, there would have to be a lake or a river or like a stream or something with water, and um, well... He wanted to create something to help her with those chores while he was at work, like in the farms or something. So, what he did was he got an engine and he put it in the, like this box. I don't know what the box was made of. And then he sort of put like a moving circle and water could seep through it and it would clean clothes. So that's how the the um the rotary wash was invented. Another fun fact is how the wrinkles have been here wrinkles on clothes have been here since the start of the human race or cavemen. I don't know if there were other types of people before that. But I think the very first trace of people were cavemen. And so they they know what to do then because they were barbarians and all that. And, and people here today still don't really know what's the best way to take wrinkles out of fabrics. A lot of people think it's just ironing. But I don't know. Another fun fact is that 85.7% of people in America that wash, clean, dry, or do anything with clothes are women. That leaves about 15% as men. It's not much. So, women have a lot to do these days. And, well, you probably couldn't get your kids to do it because kids would probably mess it up because they'll probably be like, oh, I have to put clothes in the washing machine. I have to do my own laundry. Dear God. So, well, yeah, what I have to do is take a bunch of clothes, put it in the wash, turn it on, and there we go. But you can't do that. You have to add the laundry detergent. You have to split up the clothes into three different piles, like blacks, colors, and whites. My mom... She does it into work clothes, and you would have to separate the work clothes into colors, blacks, and whites, too. So that's six piles of clothes. That's a lot. So I hope that one day this information will help me in the future for the best way to remove wrinkles from clothes, and I hope that it'll help you. So... Done. I hope that was good. Comment.